Good evening, viewers. You are welcome to Women Without Limits. I'm Reverend Kathy Kuna, and what a delight it is to be here with you tonight. Guess what? You guessed right. We have an amazing guest, like we always do. And today, oh my goodness, the level of story, I know you'll be blessed. I want you to know that nothing can stop you but you yourself. The thing that stops people from moving forward in life is themselves. And you need to understand that only you can change the trajectory of your life. Where you decide, enough is enough. I'm not taking that direction anymore. And what can I do in order to change it? What steps should I take? And then begin the work. Because this thing is not just about talking. It's about action. Now that you hear a story like this, or like many others that you've heard, how can they affect you personally? So that it's not just a nice story, but at the end of the day, what have I learned that can actually get me from point A to point B and keep taking me further? This is woman without limits, and without limits means that there are no limits at all. There are no limits, you're unstoppable. Today we have a guest, her name is Sylvia. She has a story from here till Timbuktu and then back. And so I want her to tell us, and I believe you're going to get blessed. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. Tell us about you. Who is Sylvia? These people need to know. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you. Sylvia is a um, slum girl from slum to the streets, from the streets to a children's home, from a children's home. <coughs> to the woman that you're seeing he, her right now. So start us now. What took you to, 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 to slum? You, you started with the slum. Yes, um, in the slums, I lived with my mother, together with my younger sister, in Eldoret, a place called Kapsuswa. Uh -huh. Kapsuswa was such like a small um, area, uh, but the houses, um, Zilikwazile za Farasi. You know, during the colonial era, mm. so those houses, um, Zilikwaza. To dog or to the very, very tiny small. little houses, yeah. Just car, that car. A little bedroom, cube. Kitchen, yeah. sitting room, you know. And um, we lived with my mother after um, a very um, bad separation with my father. Mm. And um, we lived there. My mom never went to school. Uh, coming from a background where the parents believed that... Um, it is only men that are supposed to go to school, not women. Wow. So yeah. I um, was um, um, not lucky to have that opportunity. Oh. So uh, my mom never um, uh, got employed. So the work that we, she used to do was to uh, cook changa mm. and busa. Changa is the uh, um, uh, illicit brew. Exactly. Uh -huh. Did she teach you how to make it? Oh, you, we didn't have option because now that, that, that was our daily work. Right. Yes. From what age? Yeah, uh, from age four. From age four. Four years old? Yes. What? Yes. And, and remember, it was not only my mom who was selling. Yeah. Like they were, all of that area. So, so, so it was, uh, you were surrounded by drunkards? Exactly. Mm. And you know, remember, every parent there was drinking, including my mother. Um, so the friends, the relatives that you live together around there, yeah. that is the routine. You wake up, you make it, yes. you drink it, you sell it, yes. all that. And so you, remember, at four years, you had already learned how to do, to yes. make it. Because we actually used to have it in the house. Mm. You know, there's way Changa is being made. Yeah. And Busa. They are totally different. Hello. Yes. So uh, you knew how to kogroga all of them? Yes. Um, like now, for example, for, for, for Busa. You know, Busa, you go unasiagaunga, unakanda, mm. like for chapati, but now ikai for three days. You kanda like this? Yes. You need? What? Yes. I love you in a for three days. Uh. After three days, now uh, we used to call it Oguange. Oguange ni kama slang? Yes. Uh, like what, Sheng? Uh, now Oguange. Oguange, you all. 
<laughs> yeah, it was now the common name yeah. uh, that we use in the in our area. Yeah. So to Nikaranga, yeah. we do the the four jiko zile mawe hapa mawe hapa mawe. Yeah. And then we eka mabati. Yeah. And then to Nikaranga. So, uh, yeah, the unga. You remember the unga that that you needed. Tunikanda. Yeah. Ikaka for three days. Mm. Ikatwa kamchacho. Mm -hmm. Now to Nikaranga. Tukishakaranga. Mm. Now there is this um, other uh, thing called chimera. Mm. I don't know Kimera if it's in Kikuyu, because yeah. we lived with so many cukes. Right. Yeah. So to the cukes. Eh? Tuna, <laughs> <laughs> tuna siaga. You know, uh, if we couldn't afford to go to Kisiagi, yeah. so the only thing we could do is we take Mawe, we go to a veranda, mm. and then we... You roll it. Exactly. Uh -huh. So yo Kimera in na busa. So then, busa ni leunga. Yes. Nile unga sasa you've you've already kept it for three days. Mm -hmm. Then mumei karanga. Yes. Then now you take that uh, kimera and you mix it Tuna together. Mix. Uh -huh. Then there's east. Uh -huh. Uneka east. Yeah. So there's a very big mtungi that you will weka water. And then sasa iyo. Ikai for three. Three days. And it is in it the was, same it house. Was three days were very important. Eh? Yes. Uh, the three <laughs> days of our lives. Yeah. So, <laughs> So in the same house, eh, remember? Yeah. So kuna ile place kwa nyumba pali tuko tuneka nguo, you know, hakuna nguo mob. Eh, ni zile tuchache. Yeah. So muna zinu waju, you wake up them, you put them tungi alafu muna funikia. Mm. And then you know the mozi inaka, yeah. after a day, inanza kutuwa sauti ili akaa kuchemuka. Oh. Yes, and then pia inatuwa harufu. Okay. But harufu ile mzuri ya, yeah. ya, ya busa. Eh. As in almost ready oh, to be mzuri. taken. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is busa. Ikishakuwa, yeah. now there's a way to look at Nachunga. We save. Mm. Nachunga are ready for customers. And they were also ready to come and take it. Exactly. They knew every, every house. So at four years, you, could, you knew how to sell it. Yes. And, and make it. Yes. And that is only busa. Mm. Now for the Changa, my mom used to go and buy somewhere else. Mm. In Akudiki, we were ready. Mm. So we used to put it in our house. Customer Kikuja, mm. we used to have the small glasses. Right. Ya kupima ya five bob, you know, this is like a place, ingekuwa ya ten bob, eh. ya fifteen bob, ya twenty. And, and most of the customers, they would always ask, onja kwanza. You know our levy, they don't drink Oso. before. Oh, because uh, they want to see whether you're killing them. Exactly. <laughs> onja tuki, oh. onja kwanza, yeah. dikujoka hiko mzuri ama haiko poa. Sasa we, at a little, as a little girl, they would tell you to onja. Exactly. And, and, and you know, that time, my mom was even there. But sometimes my mom could not be there. Because mm. now, ako hayuko. Mm. And, and, and especially when it came to the issue of policy. Mm. You know, um, we used to mm. have... During those days, we used to have Mahindra and Mariam, the, the lorry. To you come and pick, yeah, the ones that collect kushika, the people. Kushika, yeah. Right. So uh, during that time, angeangukia, either mkonombaya, hashikwe. So hashikwa. So, we you are left alone, alone in the house. Yeah, with my sister. Your sister was how old? My sister was two, two She was three. younger than you. Yes. So now it would be the two of you are two year old and a four year old in the house. In the house. And there are drunkards coming to buy the alcohol yeah. and your mother has gone. Yeah. So um, sometimes neighbors could come mm. at our rescue. Because mm. already yao ni wale waliangukia hawa kushikwa. Mm. And you know those houses we had dirishas. Yeah. Hapo mbele kidogo. So right. uki wa mwerevu yeah. uliku unatokia kwa dirisha. By the time askari na ingililia kwa mlango. Yeah. Usha chomoka. Na ataona hizo drinks. Yes, At they will. They will collect, or they will come and, and take what you made. Our changi, like even there was a time in our house, the busa was there. Kukoi mekuwa ready. Wali muaga kwa hau. Wali muaga kwa kichanda. Yes. Wali muaga. Luckily, my mom was not there. Mm. Yeah, alikuwa menda so they didn't kwa take her. Neighbor, yeah. And of course, now for you guys, you were too young to be taken. Yes, but again, mm. uh, in uh, the changa, changa tu likuwa tuneke wa kwa kwele chupa ile the ya jik. Mm. You know, and, and sometimes our mom would give us to na feature. You know, you carry, una pita na tuna askari, and, and you already have, yeah, they don't mm. know. So, askari wanakuja wanatafta, wanatafta, they don't get, but mm. also in those seats, mm. we used to kata up and dani, na tuna ingisha dani. So, that was the life that yeah. we used to, to live. At the same time, food was not available. Mm. Remember, 
even joining school mm. during that time it was hard for my mother because kwanza food yeah you know poverty is so bad mm. yes it when is when you have unga to your ugali yeah there's one thing we'll miss in the house either mboga yeah. mafuta maka so you so have unga there is no this you there is no exactly in our house we've never had television you know those are things that ni mekuja kuona badai mm. badai badai right yeah so um during that time my mom would always tell us um we can imagine i'm coming mm. itachemka itachemka <laughs> we'll see each other tomorrow in the morning eh tutakutana asubuhi she never came back and never yeah, brought it yeah and that's when you know to sharibu maka maji tu imechemka imechemka will you, what will change. you do now because you you're hungry we sleep no food you sleep like that we sleep yes. right yeah so um uh, the best part about our slum area was mm. mostly um we were embracing each other mm. so kukiwa hakuna wow. chakula you go to to someone mnakaa yeah. you know you mnacheza yeah. cheza encourage each other food even then you eat yeah direct home um, so but, pla you learned to to organize yourself as a little girl yes like we, i'll go there and play at least i'll get to eat yes because yeah. i even remember during that time nil already na jokosha vyombo mm. na jokosha nyumba mm. um na jokosha um everything in the house ningepanga cuz can you imagine we are talking about a 4 year old <laughs> and and um i remember even water water was not there mm. in our area but we had other neighbors walikuwa na maji at least their houses were good mm. zilikuwa nyumba za mawe you know mm. you can see toilet around you can see water bathroom it was good for us we used to go to nenda pale yeah. and i remember we used to go and ask from each house tutusaidia na maji umebebana na mitungi mm. and and this person will tell you hakuna maji and you know you just seeing it maji dripping nenda, exactly yeah but they would no, say no yeah and you have no option you mm. need to go to the next right. to the next um yeah neighbor person yes you go ask unaambiwa hakuna hakuna until we used to go to um either river sociani or there's another one kalikuwa ka kadogo tu we used to go fetch water there mm. come at home or we buy now how would you even be able to carry at that age eh hey, tulikuwa tunabeba eh hey. You have no choice. Natoka, I, I can't tell you because if I don't carry, there's no one else who will do that. Then you'll and die of thirst and hunger in the house. Exactly. Yeah. And and you know, um, there's always that kind of thing with um, parents in the in the in the slum. Mm. Ile like i kazi tu tafanya si tafanya peke yangu. You know, we have to do it as a mm. as a family. You know, yeah. If I yeah. do this, you do this. Yeah. If I go, stay here, wait for the customers to come. Mm. You know. And, uh, would she tell you like now if she was caught by police mm -hmm. would she tell you where she was no i was even there to witness oh no yeah. going you know um in our area anytime you, someone would see uh police, mariam the mariam the mariam Kaka. coming yeah, yeah we used to 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 have a common song for alerting the all of us the neighbors the neighbors <laughs> what would you us. sing uh it was moria kore moria kore moria kore you know and and <laughs> everyone would run like <laughs> can you see this kikuyu you know moria kore is kikuyu <laughs> yes yes muna kutwa muna kutwa yeah wamefika you know and and tuna shout tuna shout eh. so labda kama umechelewa yeah. ndio utapatikana eh. so wa, wa, wakirukia kwa dirisha sasa wanatoroka wana ndogo ndogo and, and you know the place that we used to live in kapsuswa yeah. kuna some people would run paka a place called Bacon it was a mm. uh, uh, mbali mm. ilikuwa mm. mbali hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka kushikwa eh. you know it was such a bad thing yeah. and standing bi uko kando would see our parents wanachukuliwa wanachukuliwa oh. so there was this time my mom started um being unwell mm. akaanza kukuwa msik but she couldn't afford even medical mm. uh, bills and mm. all these things mm. even going to to hospitali mm. but now she was she got kazi ya kufagia with the municipal council mm. so alikuwa ni ndanga anafagia yeah. asubuhi anarudi anaendelea na kazi ya changa mm. so there was this time my mom was sick ameka kwa nyumba wiki mzima mm. and um atujauza kitu mm. you know sasa hatujatengeneza there is no even capital unajua yeah. pesa ilikuwa inaishanga yeah. mnamalizia kwa food yeah. tena muanze kutafuta capital ama kama mlichukua pombe na deni nao yeah. you, so you pay, pay then you have nothing exactly yeah so the our, one week was such a big big time for for our family mm. i mean i'm sick now this this sunday my mom 
ametoka at least amesikia vizuri you know and then we had a mama around in our hiyo land yetu mm. uh, she was selling a uh, supu ya kichwa alikuwa anaitwa wamere eh. <laughs> <laughs> wamere wamere yes so uh, eh. my mom said wacha aende akunywe supu eh. she went eh. to take soup yeah. it was on a sunday afternoon so and the hours kali wamekuja mariamu people started moria kore moria kore moria kore eh my mom was not situ kwa kwa soup yeah ajakimbia so um askari walikuja wakamshika na yeye kwa anakunywa soup imagine uh, remember she was sick so is she telling them miss ya miss jafanya kitu you are telling them but wako mama twe twende 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 then another child telling another another friend of mine telling me silvia mama yako unajua ameshikwa then iko mama yangu eh ai hapana si mama yangu alienda kukunywa supu eh then akaniambia kuja so we went where the the the, the lorry was eh then i'm seeing my mom ai naangalia with other with other people yeah. wako ndani yeah you know the reality ilini hit mm. when the car was almost moving mm. that my mama ameshikwa mm. so ai nikaka ashindo mama yangu sema kwa msiki the whole week we've not even sell gotten a medication or exactly. sold the, the things the charm me the time by the time the the, the last askari alikuwa anaingia kwa gari mimi mm. nilienda pale mbele kwa, kwa gari mbele i cried you stood like it's not going no then nika nika mm. nikaanza ku roll mm. crying then the driver akashuka mm. akakuja mm. akanishika mkono akaniuliza where is your mother unalia nini mm. then i'm like my mom is here mm. ameshikwa na alikuwa anakunywa supu mm. then the two askaris wakashuka wakasema tuonyeshe mama yako ni nani mm. then i pointed at my mom mm. when i pointed at my mom they said shuka we go to your house if we get anything we are going to take you to the police station mm. so I, i was not even sure kama watapata you know yeah. ndio tulikuwa tunauza mm. but again you didn't know what they would find you know, yeah it is another story cuz we, we the, the 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 glasses that ilikuwa ya pombe mm. it was specific for pombe hiyo mm. hata ungeambia mtu ni akokunywa maji you know ah tukaenda and and i kept asking myself kwa nini mama yangu ni msik and she's going cuz several times she was there mm. and it was not easy for 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 us mm. so um tukaenda wakapiga search wakapiga search mm. wakapiga hawakupata mm. wow then they even they, me i'm like who they better not find <laughs> then they said uko na bahati sana hey. lakini tunajua una uzanga you know cuz they are also just the same same of course the yeah. same cops <laughs> the same people they like, <laughs> catch yeah and, yeah and and my mom looked at me mm. and she started crying mm. then um, i just told her ai mom usiende tena nje weka tu kwa nyumba so we stayed that time mm. and um it was it was really hard hakuna mtu anaongea you know mko there is no food mm. you know and um tukaka mm. we tukaanza kuendelea but and she must have also been a young lady Yes your mom she was yeah um now atuju tunaanzia wapi tena so my mom akarudi bado tukwa you know the same routine changa busa changa busa and ikakuwa too much for us so um bila ilikuwa too much now my mom decided hiyo tu ndio kazi atafanya mm. you know there is no other work mm. but now she's becoming sickly You know the mo anaendelea kukuwa msik and she's not seeking any medical no she's attention. not even going to the hospital yeah. unaenda hospitali na pesa gani right there's no money uh, there's no food mm. so we we had some of our relatives around you know and and sometimes we could go there and and i remember one of our aunties mm. came stayed with us in our house and she kept telling actually she told me Sylvia mm. Sylvia you will never go to school mtakufia kwa umaskini because sayo you, you've, you've, you've never there gone into no a hope. classroom anywhere there was no hope there was no hope yani ukiangalia mbele nyuma and she actually told you you'll never see a classroom yes and i felt bad cause remember other children are going to school it was bad mm. 
mm. it was bad. Mm. So we stayed with her mm. for some time. Then she went. Mm. So my mom enrolled me to to Eldoret Township. Mm. So it was in and off, in in and off, in and off. Yeah, the school. Yes. Yeah. How old are you meanwhile? Um, I was five. Yeah. Five. But other siku anenda sana. Ilikuwa ile ukikumbuka au kuna shule. You know, you oh. you even going to school there. There is no uniform. Yeah. So unenda uambiwe. There is no uniform. Go back. Home, mom is not there. Mm. Tuko tunafunga mlango. Nyumbani? Ah. <laughs> what? Sasa unafungia nini mlango? Hakuna <laughs> kitu mtu anaza Even actually imba. people will even think uko tu around. Mm. You know. So ningekuja tu bado ningefungua. Yeah. And my sister, will, she was always there. Mm. So, tukiwa tumeka, tumeka, tume, tunendelea in and off, in and off. You know now the conversation about school is over. There is no school. She can't afford uh, either uniform or school fees. Yeah, so ni kuka. So I, I joined the other children. Tukanza ku collect cartons, plastics, scraps. Now you are in the street now. Not yet. Where are you collecting? You're collecting in the neighborhood. Tuki wa home. Okay. So now tunazunguka kwa estate. Yeah. So tunazunguka kwa estate. Tunenda tuna collect. Then we go sell. Mm. So you go sell, you get five shillings, mm. you get ten, you mm. get twenty. Mm. So narudi na your home. Apo ndo mtapigia maesabu. Mm. Um, Ika kwa routine mm. for some time. Mm. So now, unajua tu kwa tumianza kufika tau. Sasa, tunenda tuki extend. Tunenda tuki ongeza. Tuki ongeza area. Zile like, closer, unajua, closer, closer, closer to yes. Eldoret now, yes. the, the town. Town. Uh -huh. And, and I remember this Paul's Bakery in Eldoret. We used to go to Tuna Kahapo and we wait for people to, to drink sodas, mm. juice, mm. nikate, snacks, all these things. Wakati wana tupa, now we pick. We pick linye mebaki, we mm. eat. Oh, you pick the leftover food. Exactly. I thought you were picking the plastics. Oh, the plastics and the leftovers. Yeah. Yes. So that's the food you'll eat. Yeah. Because si tumetoka home asubui. Mm. So the earliest we can come back home is Gioni. Mm. And you might not even find anything to eat anyway. Yeah. Ata si lazima indu. Whom will you even ask? Mm. Uta uliza nani? Mm. Eh. You know, it's so hard. It is not at kuna So you learn as much to as be... Uh, uh, independent exactly. at a tender age at the same time you also become a provider because mm. when we sell the the cartons the small amount of money that you get you bring home mom and you know we'll always mdanganya ukianza kusema ni sorry za cartons ulienda kuokota utaonua war and it will be bad for you so lazima useme oh nilikutana na Uncle Flani, you know, I can repair. Yeah. Yeah, that one will make sense. Not that you went and, and got things to sell. No. Right. No, because as much as we were not in a position to access all those things, no parent would love to see mm. her children yeah. doing such Like collecting things. rubbish to go and sell. Exactly. Right. So, you know, the more we, we, we go places in Bali, Napali, to get access, then you get good money. Mm. You start bringing home. But now, we are getting also other children. Sasa wanawambia, kwa street kuna kunga na kila kitu. Una ile, ile mateso, una, una piti anga uko Sili. Mm. Um, Sili was my... Your hometown. <laughs> yes, Sili wa kapsuswa. Yeah. So, um, they introduced us. Yeah. Tuka ingia sasa. Sasa kwa street? Kwa street, yes. Sayo, you, you how old again? Five? Five, then there are six. Jesus. So to me, <laughs> you go there, you follow instructions. Now you, you, you just um, following what they do, because this way you're still new there. Mm. You have no idea. But what you know, mm. you'll, you'll get food that you don't get at home. So you are okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, to kaingia base, to kaanza. In um, a base? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, to kaanza, 
um, and, and, and we had our very own days. Wale was to talk to a cup suswa. Every, every, every area. Yeah. Ilikuwa ngana base yake. Okay. So hakuna kuenda beyond. Your base. Exactly. Otherwise there will be war. You will start fighting yeah, for there will be fight. territory. Exactly. Mm. So kwa hiyo base yetu tulikuwa tumeka hapo. Tukua both boys and girls. Mm. And, and mm. we will always um, ile kuomba. Hey, literally you, you ask. You beg. You beg. And and to go to Napata. Kupata na yo. Eh. I we used to get. Eh. Yes. We, you stop cash. Kata kama you are not given the cash. Yeah. But someone will even say, let me buy you food. Eh. Hey, ukipata food, you're, you're good. good. You're good. You're and, good. And the money says, ah, na ukipata, yeah. na gawana. Yeah. Akuna ti. It is yours. This is mine. No, oh. No, no, no. So you would put it all together at the end of the day. Yes. Na and mgawana. share. Share. Mm. Because also, these are the same children yeah. that we all know our parents. Our parents, they, they, they just have so many things in common. Yeah. Single parents, they are selling busen changa. Mm. Kama wanendanga sell, wanendanga kwa the same car, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so they are tight. Yes. In their own, eh. in whatever they are doing. <laughs> yes. In the wrong they are doing, that they are tight. tight. Mm. Yeah. So, unko tu you, you, We already know each other. Yeah. Il, ile tumekuwa, let me call it family friends. But right. kwa kosilamu hakuna nga family friends. Eh. Uh, you need to know that. You, eh. Eh. <laughs> There's no that ni... family friends. Eh. Ah, 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 uko tunikuishi. You just live. You, 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 you soldier on. Yeah, no you matter fight for what. your own you space. You fight, yeah. For your own space. Right. So tumeingia, tumeanza. Sasa nimekuwa addicted. Now kwa street now. Uh, eh. Alia. Yes. Silly. Yes. Um, and it's just like you are enjoying now that life. Eh, I, 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 uh -huh. Then you Naka can cut uh, 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 you, uh, you can cut a kitamba, uh, ya cotton, then oh. you fix and then you make a maftata. Oh, with a kitamba? Uh, it seems okay. like you, 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 you are telling me a different <laughs> one. The one I'm saying is, is too, too high class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you just buy the 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 kamkebe yo. Yeah, yeah. Already kai mesha tengenezo na watu wajua kali. Yeah. Then sasa either utapata imekuwa yo kitamba ama mm. utajieke tu jite tu jipange. Alafu washe na maftata. Ina itwa ni nishikie ni nishikie ni tandi. Because ilikuwa lazima every now and then, you know, when you even don't expect. <laughs> yeah. Ya probably sezo mumba kiberiti. Yeah. Umumba kiberiti kwa neiba. So, and I need to kushikilia kweli utandike. Mm. Isizime. Yani, you, wow. you're just at home. Yeah. I, I take a wea sana. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, um, chao una, unapata kuna lights. You know. Na huku kuna nyumba kuna nishi, live. Huku you know. ni nishikilia ni tandike. Yeah. Na huku tao kuna ma lights. Na kuna life. Yes. And then, siku kwe naisha ka uja, uja chapo wa. Na? Mam. Ama even, you know, the neighbors, yeah. wange kupata mahali tu, umefanya mm. makosa kidogo. Mm. Ana kuchapa, ana kuja, ana kushita kitena, oh, unachapua. You know, double. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, unapata huko, there is that ka freedom, there was that freedom. Mm. Akuna saa utasikia, umeitu kila saa. You know, yeah. there was that kuitu kila saa, yeah. utumwe. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, you, you realize, eh, hata hakuna food. Mm. But here, you, you get, you even get like three or four people yeah. when you want to prepare food. Uh. Some give you money and then you, you eat together. Sasa palipa kulala. So you found a family in the yeah. street. Yeah. People were so warm. People mm. were so warm. In the street, in even not the street families, mm. but at a wale watu wote when you kwa kwa street, you mm. ask them for anything they give you. Mm. Yes. The street kids? Yes. There is always that car attachment. Sharing. Yes. Unity. You become sick. Yeah. It is another different story. They will always take good care of you. At least what a kuchunga. Yes. No, with love. Yes. What? They go look for food they bring for you. In the you street. Know, yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, so when I when I actually joined the street children, mm. um, Kwanza siku kwa nimezo ya kulalauko. So mm. I used, nilikuwa day scholar. Eh. Hey, na, narudi rudi home. 
I go home. In Etwende Scholar? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now you have two places your accommodation. Yeah. There's this in the street. Yeah. Then there's this one. Um, now kwa nyumba ni le ni haki yako. Right, right. But you know, in informal settlement, haki mm. There are no your rights there. Mm. So I used to day ni kanza kwa na day. Lakini sasa na pimia. Yeah. Eh, oh mama neza. You know, asijue. Mm. Lakini now, Eldoret town was was that small. Yeah. Ungeo na ule neighbor. You know those mama who used to come so koni wananunua. Yeah. Then they go tell tell my I mom. I saw silly. Yeah, ni yeah. Mwana. And then wapi nini? Eh. Do you know when you are coming home? Oh, okay. you think ah, chapo ujue. Mama mimi kukua, eh. but still atakutandika ile yeah. mbaya sana. Right. Sasa nika endelea. Finally, I went stayed there in the street. Yes. You now move from the house. Yes. Sasa saa hii, you know, mama ko in and off. Yeah. In and off, yeah. ako either police station, yeah. home. Now, you remember, I a story of Busana. And where is your sister? Are you together? Are you doing this She's together? There. Yeah. Sasa misi kuenda na ye. Mm. My sister was, even up to now, my sister is such a cool girl. Yeah. Wale wapendi maneno. Mingi, mm. let me say she's an introvert. Yeah. Kai, sasa ya likuwa tule msichana mzuri, you know. Mpole. Mpole, yeah. always with mom. So you are doing it for both of you? Yes, she will come and let her kitu ya kukula. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and then now there's now the second hand clothes started coming mm. in Eldoret. Mm. So mkienda huko, you know, we used to chukua ya tunaficha, you know. Mm. And then utaenda kuangalia mbele, you even don't know what you carried. Yeah. But you just carry. Unabeba, una unaenda. Unaenda kuangalia mbele, hata unaweza pata umebeba shati ya mzae. Mm. Eh. So unashindwa hii itapeleka wapi? Yeah. But you just give out. Right. So um nikaanza ku board. <laughs> Eldoret. Kubod sasa ni kulala kwa street. Yes. Sasa wow. uh, niwepata, I've gotten that courage. Yeah. Ile like now. And you're growing older now. Exactly. You, you are now no longer six. You're maybe no, seven. Seven. Yeah. So tumeendelea, tumeendelea, tumeka. Life ni ile too, you know. Every day you no wake school, up. No school, silly. No school. You just, you wake up, you go to the street. Yeah. You sasa beg. I was full time. So let me use that. Yeah. I, I was a full time now. Yeah. Um street street girl. Yeah. So akuna kuenda anywhere else, ukuapo full time, you source for iso support your food. I think food was the only thing that we were looking for. Hmm. Yes. Because that's I, what you lacked back home. Yes. So now here you're really you're getting that food. Yeah. And you're fine. So you are saying that you even got addicted to that life. Yes. So, sir, you even don't feel like leaving this other, you know? Yeah. Like, I, ah, uh, ah, uh, ata, ata when you, you, you feel like you unataka kuenda, yeah. they will always tell, ah, tukai kai tu, mm. tukai sasa home tunenda, you know, and, and already yo ni kusema, we, yeah. we, are, we already lost hope. Yeah, this is our home now. Yeah, yeah. apa, at least tuneza pata kitu. Mm. And remember, we are still doing the cartons, the plastics, um, we are selling mm. tunaenda tukiokota tukienda mtaa moja hadi mm. nyingine you're mm. looking at those i remember during those times i used to see gari zikikuja zimebebwa new cars mm. zikiwa zimebebwa zinaletwa reply and i would ask sasa hizi kwa nini hizi gari zimebebwa mm. you know and i felt like the cars belonged to certain group of people mm. then now sasa wacha uende kwa nyumba za wahindi mm. you know they they live in apartments yeah. me I, I, I you would ask me ninge kwambia Hizo nyumba si za wa Afrika. Eh. Ah ah. Is in not Kenyan. Yeah. Not as kwanza sasa sisi what Ni Wahindi, Wazungu. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and it was made for specific people. Hmm. Not people like like you. Like us. Right. Cuz already um already tushajieka category tofauti. Like you you you're too low class yeah. to even afford anything like that. Yeah. Or for anyone to care. No. And mm. and even looking at your family, mm. there is no inspiration. Did your mother look for you? Yes. Mm. So many times na kwambia nika nilikuwa naangukia. Eh, ukiwa tu umetoka <laughs> hii base hivi kidogo, mnaenda hivi unasikia. Masako alikuwa hapa. Niko where? Hapa. Eh, eh, na hama hapo. For another. So you keep relocating. Yes. Running away from her. Anaweza tokezea anytime. Na hata kuchapa hapo mbele yao watu. <laughs> but jioni need tulikuwa tunarudi hapo tu. Yeah. Kulala. Mm. Lala now we used to, to just come there. So what was happening was were there rape cases and stuff like that? What would be going on there? Abuse? Actually, mm. um, the same area kulikuwa kumechanganyika. We had the big 
big boys, mm. big girls. Mm. Um, I was among the, the small. The small girls. Yeah. yeah. Those things used to happen. Mm. Luckily, it never happened to me. Mm. And, and some of us. Yeah. But now you fighting. Were too young. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, we did. Uh, so many times. You fought. Uh, Physical fights. Yes. Uh, no wonder me, I don't like fighting even now. Mm. I don't. I, I did it during my, my time in the street. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> so you used to fight a lot for, for space. For space. Mm. Even Acha Kama Mtu Mepewa Maj. You know, there is that conversation that you start with someone, then someone else speak. Mm. Then you start fighting. You know, there is always that disagreement. And, and remember, even when we sit, we start discussing, oh, kwetu kuna hi, kwetu kuna hi. Yeah. You know, in a little disagreement. Right. And we fight, you feel like, nini kwenyu ni wadosi, yeah. kushinda wale, but we are all in the same, the same category. The same category. Right. But you go feel like, hi, my mama, mama angu wakongo, hi, endi anauzangana kwa anakastomers wengi. You know, look at the things that we used to fight for. Mm. And um, even food and the space. Ile akulala. Yeah. yeah. You would I, fight for that. Exactly. Because you need the space yeah, and the other person boys needs. Yeah, would even tell you, I'm lali ukuleo. Mm. So you go sit, mnashindua. I what do we do now? Aje, yeah. yeah. Were there street mothers? Yes. Kulikuwa. Eh. Yeah. Who we would now so take many. care of the smaller ones? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. and, and then now the, the, the boys will also do the same. Yeah. Yeah. But also the relationships were there. Ile. But you know, for some of us, yeah. we were... Mm. As in we were not concentrating, mm. but you will just even get the stories, you mm. know, like, oh, who you Ali have sex now, who you, who mm. you Ali have, you know, mm. our, but as we didn't use the word sex, yeah, ah, our Wali, mm. no, let me not use that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Near Ka street, so yeah. um, <laughs> namtani. On the street, on if it was a street, namtani. Yes. Vile watu wamefanya hizo vituko. Yeah. Okay, nikulize. Let me ask you. Uh, what started to change your life? Did you come out of the street and how, after how long? No, I didn't actually come out of the street. Mm. So now what happened, um, nikanzanga tena kurudi home. Mm. You know we are selling the, the carton still. Yeah. Unapata pesa, unaenda na, na pia sister yangu na mwambia si uta afiche. Eh utapea mom. You know. And tukiendelea hivyo, there is another group that told us um there is a mzee who comes ku, kuna mzai ukamuku mm. yeye uletea watu hii maziwa na mm. mkate. Mm. So you know all of us tulish unajua ile unashtuka mm. maziwa na mkate. Mm. Eh. Ana wapeanga aji. Mm. Ati ye ukam on a specific days. Ana kujanga. Kwanza wananza kuimba. Wana preach. And um, tukamuliza. Mm. Tuneza kam. You know sasa. The, the, the place that mze used to go there. Mm. Ni ile place. Bezi yao. Yeah. So we had to ask for permission. permission. Yeah. To be allowed to go there. Yes. Eh -eh. So si akasema eh hey, mnaweza kam cuz mm. kuna mkate na maziwa na anapanga kila mtu mkate mzima you know a full wow. and one packet of milk yeah. eh hey, tulingoja mandi eh eh ndio nyao akaenda so we are just seeing these people singing mm. eh hey, preaching zikaanza mm. i now tuko eh hey, huko kuna hope hai hey, nikati we were actually feeling wasted tumekaa tu Tunasikiliza vitu zenye hazituusu. You know, and, and, and mze and the team were preaching. Yeah. So, tukaka, tukasema, ah, tunambia na tutulia. Nini munangu mkate? Tutulia, tukua tumona kweli kuna nisana hapo. Eh, eh. So, tunajema, ineza kuwa kwa boot, ineza kuwa. Iyo mkate. Kwa na so, your eyes ziko kwa iyo mkate. Exactly. Iyo mkate lazima. We were actually there physically. Yeah. <laughs> but our mind was kwa mkate. <laughs> I can't even tell you what that mze was preaching about. Because one, <laughs> you're like, let me tell you. Just finish what you're saying. You give us the bread and the, and the milk. And remember, <laughs> you know where we are coming from. Oh, Mr. Aniki mention your church. She just care. So, Sunday, you know, you customers. You know, you know, what when you end the job. Wow. Yeah. This is how will you even go to, to church? To church. How? How? Hakuna. So this guy is preaching, you can't even hear what he's saying. Neither do you care. Uh -uh. The Nissan is your interest. It is not even the preachings that brought us there. No, it's the interest of the bread and milk. No, she has a pig, yes, I believe it's a cooler. You know, the lelewi was sorted. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Mm. So we, 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 we 
listened to 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 mze akamaliza mm. akasema to pray eh sai kumanisha history meishi hapo eh <laughs> tukaza kupigwa na mshtuko <laughs> na mza ai how you know we even started asking the 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 the, the boy that told us yeah. kujeni kuna mkate tuko mm. like eh hey, mm. wewe hey, wameomba si nikusema wanamaliza eh. akasema ah tulieni eh. Tuna, tunatulia nini you know and we kept pressuring him vile tulisikia mm. mkate na maziwa ina piano eh. vile tulisimama eh. we were so excited mm. hata tujaipata bado mm. uh, we are not even sure yeah but you are <laughs> but excited tumesikia, that it has been tumesikia kuna mkate kuna maziwa we were so excited by the time tuko tunaambia tupange line sio wenyewe tuko tushajipanga mm. mm. mkingojea tuko kwa line right. atutaki ku misbehave <laughs> tukose you know <laughs> Mumepanga line vizuri. Mumepanga line mm. and we mm. vile nilishika hivi mkate mm. nikashika hivi maziwa. Mm. I don't know what happened. I just find myself home. I went home. Mm. Yes. Remember ni mkate mzima maziwa. Amjambiwa ati you share. You just take it and do whatever you want. Eat. Yeah. It is yours. So you you took it and went to your house. Home. Uzuri ya Eldoret, mm. Eldoret town to where we used to live, mm. Kapsuswa. Mm. Unatembea tena unaweza kimbia. Mm. <laughs> It was not far. Yeah. <laughs> It was not far. Right. Hata I, I had the energy to go home. Eh, because I had something. Eh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I went home. Eh, my mom was amelala kwa kitanda was she was sick. Mm. But I saw my sister hapo nje. Ka janti sasa nini mama ko? ako kwa nyumba. Hai nikamuuliza, "Atani mm. atani chapa nini 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 mm. nini?" Nikamwambia mimi nimekuja hapa na mkate na maziwa. Nikamwambia tushe. Mm. I went in the house, my mom was asleep. Nikamuita, akajaribu kuinuka, you know she was deep asleep. Mm. Akaniuliza, "Umekuwa wapi sili?" Nikamwambia, "Mama mimi nimekuwa tu." nimeletea maziwa na mkate <laughs> umetoa wapi mm. nikamwambia mimi hata tumepewa then she told me you're not supposed to be where you are mm. come back home mm. 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 i to her nikamwambia mamu life ni hard ona when you sick there's nothing we can do mm. we shared mm. i went back to the street yes mm. when i went back mm. Mm, we were told mzee will come on wednesday mm. and saturday it was monday wednesday wednesdays and saturdays mm. so um i remember telling my friends hey, is this school ziko sorted mm. i'll be taking bread and milk to my family mm. so i stayed there mm. we did that for almost a month mm. going to mzee listen to 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 preaching to the preaching are you starting to hear the preaching now well, the, the the choir mm. captured our heart so much mm. because we remember the songs mm. they used to sing to sing to sing and then mm. preachings come later mm. so i remember the during the choir that was the best part for us mm. and then realizing that there's something we miss mm. um because home i remember very well mm. We used to follow the Zile Kanisa. You know there's this African Divine Church that yeah. is Aluya. Ile zina kwanga kwa barabara. Mm. We would follow such. Mm. Unaenda tu mm. but you will not even listen for the for the preachings. Mm. And then there was a Catholic church around our place, mm. Majengo Catholic Church. So sometimes we would go there. But we'll only go there to listen to you know the the altar singing. boys and the singing. Then not sitting for the for the for the preachings. Mm. And um listening to mzepo lepole and you will always talk about the story of jesus 
you know about the prodigal prodigal son mm. talk about good samaritan mm. and will always and you will always ask nani angetaka kupea life yake kwa christ but sasa sisi hata life ya kwa christ wewe mwenyewe acha what is that thing that you have for the your life in christ mm. so um after a month to the second second week after a month mm. there is one of his staff that came where i was seated mm. and asked me what is your name nikaambia sikwambi eh unatakia nini jina yangu eh mm. so you had been hardened by life exactly unaniulizia nini unaweza kuwa wewe ni karao eh eh <laughs> so i'm not sure you are suspicious about anyone exactly anyone yeah. Yeah. so akaniambia no niambie niko na na mzee niko na mzee muli now the the evangelist i'm telling is dr charles muli Uh, that they used to come mm. in the streets yeah so akaniambia uh, the, the friends around me they were ah, sumwambie si li sumwambie already hata washasema jina yangu mm. you see <laughs> so like me like, like, it was still there. <laughs> and then um um wakaniuliza where is home mm. eh nikamuliza unataka kujuliaje unataka kujulia nini kwetu eh. i say no Aka, uh, the, the person the, this man was very patient nika nikamwambia sikwambi mm. so that day ilienda hivyo mm. come the next time he still came akaniuliza nikamwambia nilishakwambia jina akaniambia nataka mm. twende kwenu mm. nikamuliza kufanya eh <laughs> ndio nichako na mama yangu eh. nitamwambia we ni nani eh ichu <laughs> akasema no tutaenda tutaje introduce nini so the other children told wakamwambia um kwao ni kapsuswa Then the guy was kapsuswani wapi. Mm. Well, that's the time we had for you today. We are going to continue with this amazing story of Silly. Oh my goodness. Sylvia has a story and a half. Wait on us next week same time, same channel. Vile tulienda na yeye, I saw that place. Ilikuwa ime fancy wana kayapa, kayafa. The place is cemented, mm. there is water, mm. there is light. Hey, you are like ah uh -uh. This looks like a good hey, place and people and the, and the children are eating asubuhi sa sabana jion. Eh. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I even didn't have time ya kuambia mama yangu mimi si si sitaka hapa. Eh. The immediately she asked me. Mm. Uta uta utaingia hapa shule? Eh. Niambia yes. Woo!